let's play! 3v1 keep away in a grid is an exercise focusing on maintaining ball possession in tight spaces. An SCAA 30 under 30 coach Sarah Brady will emphasize proper body shape to protect the ball when passing and receiving and will challenge players to quickly provide close support to their teammates. Yeah, your ball pace is good, but we need to think about our angles of support, correct? Okay, so just play a ball in there for me. Okay, how quickly do you need to get there into sport to keep the play moving quickly? Very quickly, okay, show me very quickly. That's better, okay? Do I want you to get all the way there or nearly all the way there? Nearly or all the way? All the way, okay? So let's make sure those angles are appropriate to support. Get there quickly and get all the way there. Let's play. Begin by playing three versus nobody in a grid. Players are limited to two or three touches on the ball and pass the ball to each other around the perimeter as quickly as they can. As each pass is made, the other player must sprint to fix the supporting shape so that options always exist to the right and left of the player in possession. We do want it quick, we do want the ball pace quick, we do want the movement quick, but does it matter if the ball's not in full control? Does it matter? Yeah, it does matter, but do, is it more important, let's say, for us to do this quickly or to do it correctly? Okay, so let's take a breath. Okay, I appreciate the hard work, but we need to take care of the ball a little better. Okay, so punch it into her. Okay, make sure she can control it. I love the first touch because it guided our next player to get there faster. Okay, so let's take a little bit more care of our technique. Let's play, ladies. Better keep those angles, Fox. Keep those angles. And get there fast. Sarah, what were the coaching points or coaching ideas in the first activity? In the first activity, we're looking at the ball pace and we're looking at the correct support and angles for the player in possession. What about technical? What are you asking for them for there? So technical, we need a clean first touch because uh, that helps with all passing and we just want to make sure that there's a good ball pace on that ball. So a, a good first touch will lead to the rest of that. Good. And why did you start with three players unopposed instead of four? Whenever we go unopposed, we're looking for technique. So when there's no pressure, we can focus very much on the player's technique. Um, also, if we had four, we wouldn't get the movements as clean and as quick as we needed So it. more movement with three instead Absolutely. of four. Absolutely. And then, uh, last question, what are you going to do now for the progression? We're going to actually add the pressure in now, so we're going to go 3v1. It's the same activity, we just add a, a defender in. Excellent. Well, we'll look forward to that. Thank you. Okay, ladies, the progression, we're going to add in a defender. Okay? So let's slide in, please, orange and white. Activity is the same. Defender, you're trying to steal the ball. Let's play. Sarah progresses the activity by adding a central defender who holds a vest. If the defender intercepts the ball or an attacker commits a thinking foul, that is takes too many touches or uses the incorrect passing surface, then the defender throws the vest at the feet of the offending player and trades roles. Take care of that ball. Look where you are right now. Are your angles what they need to be? Why not? Look at your starting position. Good, you've come a little bit narrow, which makes the field smaller, which makes it harder to play, right? So make sure we keep these supporting angles. You received the ball from Fox, correct? Or was it from over here? It was from Fox, right? There we go. Good job, Amia, right? I remember these things. Okay, so make sure we're not creeping in because it gives our defender an easier life. So let's make sure we get that angle, okay? Let's play it to her. Let's play it to her. Boom, can we get there? There we go. Much better, much better. Get there. Better is he? Just take care of that ball, kid. So there were there were two things particularly I really liked. One, I liked where you stood at the session because the girls could find you all the time and you were between both activities. I really liked that. And then the other thing I really liked, which was that you kept one group going while you coached the other group sometimes. Um, was that something you were planning on doing? Absolutely. I think what tends to get frustrating as a player is stop, stop, stop when it doesn't apply to them. So we want the players to have as many touches as possible and keep the activity as free-flowing as possible. So if we can start one group, let's let the others play. That was a great example of a good coaching position and letting the girls play when you needed them to and then coaching them when you needed to make a stop start. So I thought that was really good. Well done. Thank you. Thanks, ladies. Good job, Thank you. Please visit quickgold.com for all your equipment needs.